it was it's, it's just shocking. Jennifer Tharp and her husband, Tim Cleary, are speaking to us from sunny Palm Springs, California. But as the Beaverton couple explains, getting there was no easy task. From a humane standpoint, it, it wasn't right. The couple, their children, and some friends boarded a Southwest Airlines flight Wednesday. All of them were masked, except for their 15-year-old daughter, Maya, who they say is developmentally delayed and autistic. A flight attendant approached the family and reminded them that the company policy requires all passengers, two and older, to wear a mask. And I said, yeah, um, she does wear one, I, you know, that it's intermittent, that she'll kind of wear it, take it off, wear it. Um, kind of hard for her. After a considerable amount of back and forth with flight attendants, the pilot, and other airline staff, Maya was asked to get off the plane. Oh, help me. Oh, oh. This cell phone video is evidence of just how difficult it was, even with Dad Tim helping Maya down the aisle. It was a lot of anger. Uh, you know, I was not happy, obviously, and I'm still not happy. Um, you know, it was dismay. And I was angry, but to be honest, mostly I was sad and in shock. I mean, just just sad for my daughter that um, she was being treated that way and not, you know, I feel like her rights were taken from her. The awful situation, Jennifer and Tim say, was lessened only by the outpouring of support from fellow passengers. The people around us were furious with Southwest. Uh, they were all fine with it. Fine with no mask for Maya, who was forced to stay behind in Portland with Grandma, while the rest of her family continued on to California, where they've had a lot of time to think about their experience and what they want to come from it. I think compassion would be great, and this is, you know, a situation that none of us have ever been in, and, you know, um, we understand that, but there's gray areas and accommodations for life with everything, <laughs> even this pandemic. We kind of want to do our homework and do our research to know uh, you know, what needs to be done, if anything, to make sure our daughter's protected. Southwest Airlines did release a statement reiterating the company policy that all passengers, two and older, must wear a face covering unless they're eating, drinking, or taking medicine. They say that an overwhelming majority of customers are adhering to the policy and they appreciate the ongoing spirit of cooperation. It is worth noting that the CDC does recommend masks on airplanes, but there are a few exceptions. Among them, people with sensory sensitivity. In this case, Maya. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.